Hello and welcome to this week's Try a Maths Problem Today. In this question, we're only given a very small piece of information. We're told the length of one of these triangles is two. Now, I'll also add in that the, the triangles we see here are equilateral triangles and the shape they're in is, is indeed a square. So with just that information, we should be able to find the blue area you see there. So I recommend you pause the video, try yourself, and then come back and check out my solution. So the blue area we're asked to find is a very irregular shape. And often when we're asked to find irregular shapes like that, it's much easier to find them as a composite of regular shapes. What I mean by that is, that blue area could be found by getting a square and taking away four triangles. Uh, so we'll just say one triangle times four. Finding this will find the answer to this question. The only problem is we don't know the lengths of the square. We do know the lengths of the, the triangle. That they're two, two, and two. Let's put a bracket around that so it's not confusing with the four. So really now the question becomes, what's the area of the triangle and what's the area of the square? Let's start off with the triangle first. We know three whole sides of it. There is actually a formula that will tell us the area of a triangle when we know three sides. So you could go ahead and use that. There is also another formula when we know an angle. And in this case, it's an equilateral triangle. So we know the angle is 60 degrees. So the area of this triangle is two times two times half of the sine of 60. That's another way to do it. Let me do it a, a third way, the, maybe the most simplest way. We are gonna multiply the base by the perpendicular height. In this case, the base is two. We just wanna know what the perpendicular height is. So we can find that by uh, half the bottom, because uh, a, a, the line coming down here cuts this in half, so that's one. Uh, the length here is two. So we just use Pythagoras theorem. That's one squared plus something squared is equal two squared. So that's one plus something is equal four. So it must be three here or square root of three. So the height of this triangle is the square root of three. So what's the area of it? That's a half, uh, let's write it out here. Um, uh, the area of the triangle, AT, is equal to a half times two times the perpendicular height three which is just equal square root of three. So one triangle is the square root of three area, four of them is four times square root of three. Next up, we need the area of the square. So we need the dimensions of it. So let's draw the square one more time. And remember, we have a triangle like this and another one like that, just to draw two of them. So the height of this triangle or this square is the same as the two of the heights of these triangles and we just found out it's square root of three. So this square is two times square root of three. And the same on this side, because we could draw the triangles the other way. Uh, two square root of three. So what's the area of this square? Uh, area of the square is equal to uh, two square root of three, I guess squared, which is four times three, which is 12. That's the area of the square. Bring the whole question together, what's the blue area? The blue area is 12 minus four times square root of three. That's the answer to the question. If you liked this content and would like to see more, if you give me a like and subscribe, I'm more likely to show up on your feed. So until next time, have a great day.